Two NVIDIA-based graphics cards have recently been spotted in the database for Geekbench 5 with performance that crushes today's top performer, the RTX Titan. An all-known GPU with 7,552 CUDA cores were recently spotted and benchmark scoring almost 185,000 points in Geekbench 5 and in comparison the RTX 2080 Ti for example gets around 132,000 points. Today we're gonna dive into the latest news in regards regards to the RTX 3000 series, Nvidia is currently working hard behind closed doors planning and getting ready to reveal their next generation of graphics cards known as Ampere and we have a pretty good idea when these cards are coming out and what specifications, you know, hardware specifications each card uh, could have. Let's take a look at upcoming Ampere and everything you need to know. Hey what is up guys, my name is Robin, welcome to Arbin Hardware, I'm your Swedish host and friend with bad posture and poor accent. So. Nvidia's current architecture known as Turing was unveiled for the first time in August 2018 along with three cores, the RTX 2080 Ti, the 2080 and the 2070. Both 2080 Ti and 2080 were then released a month later whereas we had to wait a bit longer for the RTX 2070. And since then a solid stream of new cards have been released based on 12 nanometer and the Turing architecture. Not just RTX branded cards but also a few GTX based cards cards have been presented by the green team from lower priced cards such as the GTX 1650 to spiced up variants known as the super series to a number of TI versions and recently we have even seen evidence of a potential GDDR6 uh, equipped uh, variant of the GTX 1650 could be underway but behind locked doors Nvidia is working hard and getting ready for their big next step in the future of GTX and GeForce and recently we have seen countless of leaks and rumors in regards to Nvidia's upcoming architecture known as Ampere and usually when we start seeing you know lots of leaks like this typically mean that we are getting closer and closer to a final product and various leaks indicate a potential unveil for these graphics cards either in March or in June in 2020. Now as far as I'm aware although we have seen several reports and leaks for what hardware specifications upcoming RTX 3080 and 3070 could be getting we still haven't really seen Nvidia's upcoming Ampere being benchmarked until now which makes this leak pretty interesting because again we believe Nvidia is making the jump from 12 nanometer down to 7 nanometer in manufacturing process and if you don't know this would allow for a denser more advanced graphics chip that could be much faster than today's RTX 2000 series and Turing based on 12 nanometer and the leak again comes from a Twitter user called Rogame recently came across these leaked images showing the performance of two still unknown graphics cards coming from Nvidia and the performance tests are conducted in Geekbench 5 and these are dated to November and October in 2019 which is months ago but it happened to be spotted just recently. Now the listings do not reveal any details about the names of the cards but we do find some specifications and we got some memory to look at. We also got clock frequency and the number of compute units and one compute unit can be translated into 60 for CUDA cores. With that said, let's start by having a look at this monster beast. It's got a total of 118 compute units and this translates to a total of a whopping 7552 CUDA cores and 24 gigabytes of graphics memory. And this can be compared to the Titan RTX with a TU-102 GPU which offers 4608 CUDA cores and 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. But we don't know the memory type of this unknown graphics card and so it is still unclear whether this is DDR6 or perhaps HPM2 memory but we can see that the clock frequency is pretty low with the max frequency at 1.11 gigahertz and so we are looking at numbers that wouldn't be entirely uncommon in models targeted towards data centers and not really gaming you know first and foremost. I was talking about two cards and the second card tested apparently got a total of 108 compute units and this translates into 6,912 CUDA cores, it's got a clock frequency just over 1 GHz and a total of 47 GB of graphics memory. Now the results in Geekbench 5 for the first card with 7,500 CUDA cores is 184,096 points while the latter one, the slightly slower clock card with less CUDA cores gets 141,654,000 points. Wow, and the numbers can be compared 
compared to the Tesla V100 and the RTX Titan or the Titan RTX where the Tesla 100 scores around 155,000 points where the Titan RTX scores around 129,000 points respectively. Wow. Now, as I'm recording this it is still unclear you know which architecture and graphics family uh, these cards uh, tested belongs to but there have been speculations that this could be engineering samples of similar hardware that will take place in this supercomputer that I was reporting about in a couple of weeks ago. Now, historically, Andrea has previously unveiled upcoming server hardware at the GTC event, and so it is quite possible that more information will be revealed during GTC in 2020, which will start in March 22nd. And at Nvidia's latest keynote, Jensen, you know, head of Nvidia, said, quote unquote, you won't be disappointed when he talked about the upcoming keynote at GTC. Now, obviously, I'm very interested to hear what you think about this. Are we facing an Ampere unveil at GTC in March 22nd? It seems quite likely, right? Now, in case you are a bit out of the loop and you have no idea what Ampere is all about, here is a fast recap of what we know so far. Let's look at performance. How powerful will Nvidia's Ampere be? According to various leaks, it is believed that the upcoming RTX 3000 could be up to 50% faster than current RTX 2080 Ti. And when it comes to rasterization, and when it comes to hardware accelerated ray tracing, it is believed that the RTX 3000 series could see an even greater increase than the 50% mentioned, again according to various leaks. And this begs the question, how can the increase be so big? It is believed that Ampere will be based on 7 nanometer, and in comparison, you know, the current Turing architecture and the RTX 2000 series is manufactured on 12 nanometer, and so this smaller and denser 7 nanometer process will allow Nvidia to put more transistors in the same area, and this will result in more power and better energy efficiency, and this will ultimately give us more performance as a result. It is believed that most of Nvidia's upcoming Ampere here, GPUs will be manufactured at TSMC, while a fraction will be made at Samsung. And Nvidia did the same thing with Turing, where most of the graphics cards were made at TSMC's factory, while a small portion, the GTX 1050 being one of them, was made at Samsung. Now, before we look at pricing, we need to take a greater look at the potential graphics cards Nvidia is planning. So according to most recent leaks, we believe Nvidia's got three cards to reveal when the time comes. And again, it's either going to happen at GDC or at Computex. According to Tweaktown, Nvidia will follow the same pattern as they did with RTX 2000 series, starting with the flagship and then introduced mid-range later down the road. So according to Tweaktown, we're gonna see a total of three cards being revealed. We got the RTX 3080 Ti, the RTX 3080 and the RTX 3070. And recent leaks have revealed some specifications for both the RTX 3080 and the RTX 3070. But as far as I'm aware, we still aren't totally sure what specifications the RTX 3080 Ti might be getting. But yeah, on the flip side, Igor's lab is reporting that Nvidia will uh, introduce Ampere in the middle class and then, or the mid range, and then move up to the more advanced uh, graphics card later down the road. And so it seems like we aren't 100% sure whether Nvidia will introduce Ampere with top-end graphics card first or if they go the mid-range route. Uh, we're gonna have to wait and see uh, how this turns out. So we got specifications for two brand new GPUs guys. Let's start by having a look at GA103 and if you don't remember this is rumored to be the upcoming GeForce RTX 2080. So GA103. This one will pack 3840 Steam processors. We got 60 CMs and 10 to even 20 gigabytes of GDDR6 on a 320 bit memory bus. 20 gigabytes of VRAM is uh, a lot. Now if Nvidia ends up giving the RTX 3080 20 gigabytes of VRAM, it's going to be a very expensive graphics card. Maybe a bit too expensive. So my best guess here is that they're going to stay on 10 gig. Remember it is still 2 gigabytes more than current uh, 2080 and this will keep the pricing down and it would also line up better with the earlier rumors about Nvidia dropping their prices on RTX 
3000 series. Now, if you don't remember, Nvidia got a lot of backlash for the RTX 2000 and people thought it was too expensive and Nvidia sold a lot fewer GPUs than they first anticipated and with AMD planning on dropping big Navi fueled by RDNA 2 which also got support for hardware accelerated ray tracing, Nvidia definitely have to be a lot more aggressive with pricing this time. Anyway that is just my two cents and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this as well. With that said let's move on to GA 104 and this is the rumored RTX 3070. This one's got 3072 steam processors we got 48 sms and we got between 8 or 16 gigabytes of gddr6 on a 256 bit memory bus now tweak town is reporting that we should expect the consumer ga103 card to have 10 gigabytes of gddr6 while the pro level cards will pack 20 gigabyte they're also saying that nvidia could surprise gamers offering up to 20 gigabytes of vram on the geforce rtx 3080 but they they very much doubt that. Then we can see some pictures of the uh, the whole GPU, so to speak. Uh, WCCF Tech is reporting that based on the information that we got now, we can definitely expect true 4K and 60 FPS ray trace gaming from the updated architecture, which is very good news, in fact. And that's something that a lot of gamers have been waiting for for such a long time. Now, as far as price goes, or little to no information about this, my speculation is that Nvidia will ask at least 1200 for the top performer 3080 Ti. I would love to hear your thoughts here guys. How much do you think Nvidia could charge for the upcoming RTX 3080 Ti? Let me know in the comments below. And that is pretty much everything we know so far. I'm gonna keep you guys informed on Ampere and in case you're interested what AMD got in mind for us. I'll link up a few interesting videos below covering pretty much everything we know about Big Navi so far. I'll watch either of these two videos for more content. I want to thank you for sticking around this long. I will see you guys in the next